Hello again everyone, this is Matt and welcome back to Freedom Planet. Stage 4 Final Dreadnought. It's time for us to take down Brevin again, this time as Carol. And I'm already sucking. This is a wonderful start, isn't it? Wonderful start indeed! <laughs> now, we're gonna take down Brevin and then we're gonna go straight into Mila's story. I plan to do a lot of recording today because um, I have weekend and I have and I'm busy the next weekend, so I want to build up a, a catalog of uh, episodes to be ready for that time. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna um, do a lot of Mila's today and just record. I'm probably gonna do a lot of Mila's today and record them and upload them slowly over the next week to give you guys some uh, time to watch them. And so I don't have to rush anything. Also, this is where uh, Carol's ability to just climb walls is so handy. Let's get up here. And I already fell into that trap because of the uh, teleport. Okay. God damn it! Try it again. Wait for her blocks to appear. Okay, here we go. And I don't want to deal with that, so let's just do this. Because Carol can do this. She can get through this a lot easier than Lila can, I think, because of that wall jumping. There we go. And then we can pounce. There we go. And let's get over. Down. Now I I need to lower the sound again next, because I'm still trying to adjust the sound levels properly. Because it's apparently not a very easy thing to do. I also might need to um, raise the mic and so um, you can hear my mic voice a bit better over the game. Break. I'll see how I can get to it. But now we just have to... Oh, that was close. Let's get through this. And more jump. And that's what kills. Oh, that didn't go well. I'm not gonna try it that time. for the uh, energy beams to start again. Okay. See, I'm gonna be spending a lot of the weekend uh, recording, if possible, but I also need to play some games with my friends. Most is the Laris, which I'm actually considering doing a bit of um, a special play for off. It's gonna be heavily modded, obviously, but I want my viewers, if they have some interest in it, to um, have a roleplay let's play of uh, Stellaris as a multitude of races. I'm gonna make a lot of races and write descriptions here. It's gonna be a galaxy almost entirely of those races to make um, basically the lore of a sci fi universe because that's a thing you can basically can do in it. That's why I like a lot about Stellaris. It's basically a sci fi universe for everyone to just have because the lore writes itself basically. But for now, let's focus on freedom from it. Because we're not even. Well, we are over halfway, but we still have a whole nother character to do after this. Ah, we're almost at forever! Ooh, that was close. Good, we dodged. Now let's deal with Brevin. What you did is unforgivable! I have no use for forgiveness, especially from someone who puts my homeworld at risk for an oversized battery. I offer you one final chance. Leave. Now. No! You're dead! So be it. But here we go. Now we're fighting this ship again as Carol. Oh god. And we already lost the shield. That's just wonderful! Got the ship portion. There we go. That was nice. We actually got it there while I was about to fly away. Okay. 
Now let's get on to Mech Brother. I, it just dawned to me. I might be able to do this as a no death run. I've actually not died a single time as a Kevin Lava. Well, I should never speak too fast because then things are oh, gonna go bad. Ow. Okay, bad, 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 bad. Uh, ow. Okay, I guess it's not gonna be a no death run then. Listen to some cues. Okay. Not a hit on him. Hit on him. Okay. Another hit. Good. I'm doing better. Listen. There we go. Okay. And avoid the shots. Yeah. Let's go. Ah. Ow. Okay, okay, okay. Oh god. Yes! Oh god. Yes! Okay. Oh yeah, in your face. I'll be taking that kingdom stone now. <laughs> I hope they keep uh, Kella Snarky as they do in this one. <laughs> it's you, sir. Okay, oh shit! Okay, uh, this is still hard. Oh god, I might, I might die. This is not good. Okay, listen. Okay. Ooh, this is gonna be tense. He's fine, fine, and he's gonna use the knife. Like that, okay. Okay, let's just take it slow. He's gonna fire. Knife. Okay. And now he's gonna appear here. Now we're gonna wild claw him. There we go, that does a lot of damage. Oh god. Ooh. How's this? He's gonna fire. Knife. Okay. Oh, we might have him. We might have him here. Okay. Wild claw. Yes! Yeah, claw him up. Claw him up. Yes! Wait, what? Talk? The fuck? What? Uh, what? Okay, I guess I'm gonna have something to look at after this, but I finally got my no death clear. <laughs> I didn't know I unlocked talk. So there we go, we've played through the game with Kel now. We'll just do the final cutscenes and then I'm gonna cut off of this episode and begin straight off with Mila. She's alive! I'm sorry. You weren't yourself. It's okay. It's okay. I couldn't save it. I couldn't even stop him from getting away. Don't beat yourself up. Brevin didn't get the stone, and his army was destroyed with his ship. Thanks to you, our mission is complete. But at what cost? How are we going to survive without any more energy? Uh, Lilac, you might want to look up. Yes, it destroyed? is pretty. It is pretty beautiful. It must have changed form. Call me impressed. That's that dragon technology for you.
an opportunity has fallen to our world. We now realize that the Kingdom Stone was never fading, but changing in ways that were transparent to us in our lust for power and prestige. The wind carries its eternal glow to the furthest reaches of our lands, and former enemies extend their hands to one another, acknowledging the error of their ways. Creatures both mutant and metal still ravage the landscape, and it will be some time before we can dispose of them once and for all. Perhaps most troubling of all is that Lord Brevin, the monster who threw our world into chaos, is nowhere to be found. Well, I expect we'll see Brevin again sometime, but not in the second game There's from what I can There is still much work to be done. We are not completely out of danger. But my people and I will rest easy tonight, knowing that the bravery and sacrifice of a select few have given our world another chance. I never got to properly thank you all for helping me. Hey, we're buds. That's what buddies do. Well, on behalf of the Coalition of Planets, you have our sincerest gratitude. Psst, come here, you. Rupak. <laughs> Thank you. So, I guess this is it, huh? I'm gonna miss you. Me too. Well, who knows? I could be coming back sooner than you think. Until then, just take care of yourselves. The world needs you. Indeed, the world needs them. The world needs the three great heroines of Team Lightlight. See you around, spaceman! And Giant Panda Guy. General Gong. Goodbye, Torque. Bye, Torque. See you soon. Right then. Now that's done with Carol's story. This is Matt signing off.